Hello everyone, I thought I'd make a video talking about some of the features of our new printer here. It looks a little bit different, but it operates very much close to the same way. So the first thing we're gonna do in order to get started is go ahead and scan our card. So you're gonna see the card reader right down here. We're gonna scan it and you'll be presented with a few options. We have print release for when we come to pick up our print, copy for when we're making a copy, and scan for when we are scanning. So let's start off with scan for this one. I already have my document loaded up here at the top, and then I'll be presented after I hit scan with where I wanna scan this to. I can either choose email or drive. So let's go ahead and do email first. And then you're gonna have an option right here where it's gonna have your email address, the subject of whatever it is that you're scanning, and also the file name. And then over on the right hand side here, I have the option to change some settings or just go ahead and hit start. And I can also prompt for more, more pages, which is great if you have a, a, to scan multiple things at a time, or perhaps if you're using uh, the actual uh, bed here to be able to scan something a little bit bigger. Uh, but in this case, we're just gonna be using the top. Change settings, if you're curious about what's under there. We have a couple different things here where we can choose to do two-sided. We can flip it to landscape. We can change the size of the paper, which is important. We can choose our file format. For the most part, you're always gonna to wanna to be in PDF. You can choose your quality right here. That's what they mean by DPI. And then we can also choose color if we want color, grayscale, or black and white. We're gonna leave it on the default settings for right now. And we're gonna go back by hitting the arrow over there. I think we look good. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And in just a few moments, we should have that scan right over into our email. And of course, if you guys have any questions, just send us an email over at tech at and we'll get you taken care of.